there's an even more alarming hunter in this forest than the Harpy Eagle. The Amazon's indigenous people rely on monkeys and other animals for protein. The challenge is how to reach them. The canopy may be 40 meters or more above them, but these hunters are highly skilled. A poison blow dart used properly can bring down the most elusive prey. It's unlikely that a blow dart brought down our sloth for a very unusual reason. The sloth's grip can be locked tight at the wrists. It saves the effort of holding on. Even if hit, it might not fall at all. Back in the lab, a suspect board would be used for a complicated case like this. Clues are posted next to the mug shots. Patterns in the evidence can be mapped and analysed for each suspect. Is there another way our sloth fell to the ground? Perhaps an old branch couldn't support the weight of the sloth and snapped off. Whether dropped by a predator or by accident, the evidence of a fall should be clear. One of the most important jobs of forensic science is to tell us what is not there. In this case, none of the sloth's bones are broken. The evidence is against a fall from the canopy. We should eliminate canopy hunters like man and the harpy eagle as suspects. So the sloth must have died on the forest floor. He must have climbed down. A sloth will only descend to cross between trees or to defecate. This is a good opportunity for the sloth moth. The dung is a rich compost in which to lay its eggs. The sloth is extremely vulnerable on the ground. A monkey can avoid the ground by leaping between gaps in the canopy. The sloth can't leap, and unfortunately, its favorite food, the cecropia, grows in more open forest. It can't stand up on arms made for hanging, so must crawl through the dangers of the forest floor. Down here, there's no shortage of malicious creatures, like poisonous centipedes. The forest floor is alive with venomous creatures. It's home to the most infamous of all six-legged killers, army ants. It's said that nothing can withstand the onslaught of a battalion of these miniature predators who will attack anything in their path. The sloth is the only mammal here that can't outrun an ant.